What up everybody, it's your boy Flacco. Thank you for joining me for another episode of my beer reviews. And tonight we have the Strange Land Brewery's entire quarter. It says bold, robust, and heroic right on the bottle there. I mean on the can here. Pick this one up at the uh, food bar down the street where they have all these little craft beers. They have a whole section. A whole section, like a whole two aisles full of just craft beer, man. It's an awesome little corner store. You need to check it out. It's right there off of Old Torp and uh, Todd Lane. And this one is says right here on the thing, a little bottle here, handcrafted in Austin, Texas. Let's see, they are brewed and canned by the Strange Land Brewing Company on B Caves Road. So up in BK, this is uh, up there towards the hills area. Nice little can, nice cool can. Strange Land Brewery, never heard of them. Must be a newer, upcoming uh, brewery here in Austin. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm barely dabbling into some of the stuff, but I've never heard of these guys. But let's check them out here. See what the uh, beer advocate has to say about them. All right, so they are. 6.8% alcohol by volume. They have a 56 on the IBUs. So international bitter units are 56. So we should be in for some pretty good stuff. And let's see. Beer Advocate scores it at an 86, which is very good. The bros didn't score it. And that's about it, man. Let's see what it says. It says, step into the 18th century London with an entire, the original porter. Unlike weaker table beers, the entire was historically brewed with the full runnings of the mash, provided deep, rich flavor by a recreation of honors by this tradition, combining dark malts, British hops and yeast, delicate chocolate notes, it says it's a full body spicy hop character. So, with that being said, if you would join me in raising your glasses with whatever you're sipping tonight, let's go ahead and pop the top on that thing. Damn. And look at that, already off the top of the can, already coming out, it's just a foamy, nice, dark chocolate head on it. Woo! A little too aggressive. A little too aggressive. Overshot it. Overshot it. But, uh, it's alright. You don't have to worry when you overshoot things like this. It's just, you got a little bit more oxygen into your beer, so, not a bad thing in the long run. Anyways, just by pouring it out, we got a very big head on it just by the way we poured it. Oof, my bad. Um, but, uh, it's got a nice kind of caramelly, frothy head on it. Look at that. That's like a milk chocolate color on the head, man. That's beautiful. And that's that's real nice. And it's pretty dark uh, for a uh, for a porter. They're usually a little bit more. See through. I mean, I don't know. The ones I've drank at least are a little bit more see-through than this. This is almost on a stout darkness level. Now, you can still see on the bottom here, when you look through the glass, you can still see a rosy red color coming through. Rosy red coming in right there when you hold it up against the light. But... And it just smells like a Chill. nice roast, nice, uh, nice little little hints of chocolate in there, like like cocoa, not not the dark chocolate, but the cocoa, like the powder cocoa mix on it. Little bit of little bit of berry almost, but mostly just the chocolate note and uh, roasted kind of coffee scented type of thing going. The head's dissipating a little bit, you see, like I said, no worries. We're back up to the full thing to see if we can get the rest of it in there. 
that we messing up. It might take us some time, but it might take us some time. We'll get it. It's pretty fucked up that I don't want to overflow it, but I mean, a beautiful beer. Beautiful looking beer. The aroma is very great. I'm just gonna set this dig in. We might get a little froth everywhere, but let's go for it, man. Good stuff. Now me, personally, y'all know I'm a fan of the darker stuff. I love my, uh, like my porters, I like my, uh, especially like my stouts. Love my stouts. And this, honestly, this is pretty heavy for a porter. Not the heaviest heavies I've seen, but it's, it's on that heavier level of a porter. It's like borderline porter stout. Because you get the... You get like the light, because you know how porters have a light, roasted note and all that good stuff, just like stouts, just like our beloved stouts, but this one is leaning, the smell is milder than the taste, the taste is boom, roasted molds right in your freaking face, right there, just boom, but uh, in a good way, in a pleasant way, in a, in a way that, that if you like the, uh, if you like the stouts like I do, man, this is, bam, this is good. This is good at 6.8%. I mean, dude. And the thing, you know, is I picked this up. This is why I think they're kind of new, man, because usually when I go to that store, every can of, or every six pack of uh, beer, no matter what kind of craft brew it is, stouts, whatever, usually they're around $10 or $9.99 and up and you know that's just how that guy runs the shop I don't know if he's jacking up the price more but he, and he's doing the convenience so you don't have to go to actually bigger store to find the craft foods but whatever the flavor I, I get it anyway but like I said they're usually about 10 and up at that store this bad boy right here I picked it up for $7.99 price of a regular six pack but we got us a nice a very very, very, very freaking good for it, man. Very good. Look at that. You can see the creaminess on it. I mean, this is borderline stout. Very good for it. A very nice dark beer. You can taste the chocolate notes on it. You can taste the roasted notes on it. The malt. A little yeastiness on it. Barely, but the the most you can tell. I mean, I can't even describe it. It's freaking good. It's delicious. What is it? Strange Land? A fitting name coming out of Austin, Texas, man. Keep Austin weird. Fitting name for the brewing company, Strange Land Brewing Brewery. Shouts out, my boys. Y'all did your thing. Very nice porter. I will be purchasing your stuff again. Plot Goes World. This gets an 8 out of 10, man. Now, scratch that, man. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten, man. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Only reason I don't give it a ten because it's it's fucking delicious. It's delicious. Only reason I don't give it a ten is because it's kind of cheating. It's kind of cheating, man. When I say cheating, it's like I said, it's borderline stout. It's borderline stout. Love stouts. If this was a stout, they call it a stout. I might give it a, a ten, but they're calling it a porter. So I'm giving it a nine because I feel it should be something else, but it's not, and that's not how I flow. So it ain't getting no ten. Getting a nine. That's what it is. Flacco's world. Deal with it. Still very good beer. Very good stuff. You see it, my friends. Pick it up. Entire Porter by the Strange Land Brewing Company in Austin, Texas. 6.8% alcohol by volume. What did I say? It's 52, 54% IBUs, international bitter units. 
So it's a damn good beer. Damn good beer. For those who like their flavorful beers, for those who like, uh, who don't like water, for those just who enjoy good beer, this is a manly beer right here. You can sip this. I don't mean to discriminate against the ladies, but this is a manly beer too. You can eat this with your steaks, you know what I mean, your fried stuff. This is a hearty beer. A hearty beer. A hearty beer. A feeling beer. It's almost almost a mill in a can. Almost. But it's a little bit lighter. Than, not on the stouty, stout, stout. But you can pass as a stout. If you didn't know anybody, you would say it's a stout. But, good stuff, man. Flacco's World, like I said, 9 out of 10. Very good stuff. Keep enjoying this beer. Appreciate you guys sipping with me once again, man. Again, I'm out, man.